they they done a study and they figured out that the cedar tree was had taken over like 30 percent of the rangeland in this area. So then we decided, you know, something needs to be done. What that leads into, and you can see it, you know, behind us in these thick cedar stands, basically it chokes out all your forage. There's so much grazing land that has been lost to ranchers in this area to these cedar trees, and you know, that translates to dollars in their in their pocketbooks. You can't go down there with a chainsaw or a weed eater and get rid of the trees. They're just too many. We just aren't going to have any pasture. I believe it was 1964. Well, Dad taxed 120 some pair, a little over 120 pair. We had the NRCS come out and we did a study. They marked off certain areas in the hills, counted the trees, measured the grass, worked everything out, and our pasture, same acres as 1964, our pasture today limit, maximum limit is 50 pair. We lost over half of our grazing. When you really start laying it down, when you start looking at a map and kind of taking that 10,000 foot view, and you see how much grazing land has been lost to these cedar trees, that's an enormous amount of tax revenue that has been lost to, that Gregory County is losing because that land is taken out of production because it's just sitting as a cedar forest. And okay. reclaiming that land is good for everything. I would really, really like to see more people in this area here in Brule County get on board with this prescribed burn because we're going to have to do something or we just aren't going to have cattle there. And it's not just my place. You can look around all up and down the river. It, there just won't be cattle here. <laughs>